Oh yeah! Die, hobos! I'm not gonna be able to hit anything. Oh yeah! Oh crap! Oh god. Robots, take care of it. Leave no survivors. Holy sh! What was that? Did one of them explode? Yeah, die. Yeah. Take that. It's time for us to get the hell out of here before more show up. Come on, down the mountain. Wait, let me level up and pick up all their gear. Where are we going? We're going to head for the desert. The map on the wall says that's where my tribe was last seen. Lost roads. At the very least, it's far away from here, and the Enclave will have no way of reaching us. We can vanish without a trace in NCR territory. Wait, no. I, I want, I'm part of the, damn it. All right, we got repair. All right, let's get this 40. I could have sworn I did Robco certified, didn't we? Let's do toughness for the time being. A night in Pine Haven. It wasn't very nice. And let's see. Any more of our mines left? Man, they stepped on all of them, I think. There we go, that's who it was. Oh, I already have a grenade rifle, I just need ammo for it. Where's their boss? Oh, there he is, Captain Jackson. Captain Jackson, you're Captain Dead. Ooh, Charisma 1. Uh, but there's no... No armor, which is why you died. I'm Captain Dead. Leave Pine Haven for reinforcements. Oh, alright, well... I don't know if they're gonna be actual reinforcements, but let's not take a chance. Also, is Bragg's gonna... I wonder when I get back with Braggs. It might be when I go back to the uh, main base. At least I'm hoping it is. Some trucks. Theory has long held the tribe originated in the far south, the vault government, leading to the foundation of the NCR. Man, radios do not stop working. <laughs> well, I don't believe we've uh, been through this way. Oh, we got a. F oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Shada. Shada. Down. Hey. You out there, you friend or foe? Oh, I'm a friend. I, if I said foe, would you believe me more or less? Ha! <laughs> well met, stranger. Oh, Richard. It's good to hear somebody still has a sense of humor in these woods. Come over here and join me by the fire. It'll be good to have some company. And I aim to find out what that racket was last night. Oh, it was my vault. It exploded. You only have one chair. I mean, you have two. Can I set this chair up? <gasps> I can't. These are my robo dogs. How you doing? So, you come up from that vault in the mountains? Mm hmm. I wasn't expecting to see any of your kind alive again. What happened? Boom, boom. How do you know I'm from the vault? You guys look it. Healthy skin and eyes give it away. That and my pappy came up from number 18. Been friends with a lot of y'all over the years. Though I'm sure I'm not going to be seeing much of them anymore. So, your parents were from Vault 18? Yep. Yeah. You won't hear much about them from folk out here. We try to keep it hidden. The less we talk, the less word gets out that we exist. Keeping Vault 18 a secret is a sacred thing to us. You do well to hide it, too. Some people worship your kind. Others? <laughs> well, you'd best not find out. Richard, you're doing uh, pretty pretty well for yourself. Look at, look at your beautiful, plump body. Everyone's dead. Huh. Damn shame. Kevin was one of my best friends. All of them were. At the risk of sounding disrespectful to the dead, I'm gonna give you one more piece of advice. Keep those names a secret. Every bad guy from here to Arizona uses them as curse words. You mention them in front of the wrong people, and they'll skin you alive trying to find out where they are. You must have known Dr. Rossman or the other Wasteland Scouts. 
<laughs> well, hell, I've known Kevin for years. He's a legend out here, saved a lot of people from a lot of bad things, myself included. I knew Yeti and all of them, good people. I'm guessing from your use of the past tense, they didn't make it. <laughs> Why, kid? No. Call me a nerd, will ya? <laughs> oh, yeah, Dr. Rossman did not make it. Oh, he did not. I'm sorry, you must have lost a lot of friends in the explosion. I suppose not as many as you. I'm guessing you're one of the orphans that Rossi saved back in the day. I'm sorry for your loss. You care to tell me what happened up there? It's a long and complicated story. Didn't you see the explosion? You're a raider, I assume? I don't know this area very well. Can you give me, um... It's a long and complicated story. Didn't you see the explosion? Well, everybody in California heard something. As for that story, it seems you're in luck. I have a fire going, and I have all the time in the world. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to kill you, Richard. Oh, I don't want to kill you, Richard. Oh, no. The Overseer set the self-destruct. My commanding officer and I failed to stop him in time. <sighs> All right. I'm, I don't want to kill Richard. Nope. I was just on my way to check on that report of a bright light and see why several dozen friends of mine never made it back. The boss and I aren't seeing eye to eye these days. I'm not planning on heading home. So, go ahead and tell your tale. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, Richard. Richard, I'm sorry, Richard. The overseer self uh, set the self-destruct. My commanding officer and I failed to stop him. Ha. <laughs> By your CO, I assume you mean an enclave officer. Probably Colonel Bragg or Major Davis. I've wondered where they went. If what you're telling me is true, a lot of good people died for nothing. A lot of them my friends. The Wasteland Scouts are legends out here. Hundreds of people owe them their lives. I'm sure you'll find some of them on your journey. I expect you shouldn't tell them what you've done. On that note, I'm going to guess that you're one of Rossi's orphans. Okay, thank God. You're a raider, I assume? Yep. Survivalist. From the day I was born. Won't be for much longer, though. I'm 60 years old, and I don't plan on staying. Oh. Why are you leaving? Decided I wanted to die of natural causes. Yeah, I know. Not a very exciting response. But when you've seen as much war as I have, it gets old. <laughs> Hell, so do you. The real reason is I'm tired of what Els Dragon's doing to us. Survivalist used to mean something. It ain't the same anymore. Who's boss Els Dragon? A mean old snake. <laughs> He's one of eight warlords that rule the raiders' tribes and keeps order among the Alliance's chiefs. If you want to understand who he is, that's a longer story. But what he is, he's a tyrant. He was from one of the old Mexican families that survived in the mine during the Great War. He's one of their last grandkids. His policies have diluted the Alliance into a mess of convicts, thieves, and psychotic killers. He says they're freedom fighters, resisting the NCR. About as much as I can figure, they're all insane, like him. Where did the survivalist raiders come from? All over California. Any wild tribes the NCR couldn't devour, they fled here. Truth is, these days, Raider is about all there is left to say. There isn't much remaining of the old ways from when I was your age. What do you guys have against the NCR? Oh, in the old days, we were a smart company, 5,000 strong, hundreds of families lived here. We may have been bastards, but we were just. When the NCR showed up, we fended off a whole horde of those super mutants. They left us alone at first, then they betrayed our agreement. They launched a surprise invasion, annexing our property under imminent expansion, tore our land apart right in front of us. They offered a truce after we damn near wiped out 10,000 of them, <laughs> but we declined. Where are you going? I'm headed back east. We had a traveler come through not long ago, said there's another tribe growing back in Arizona, one with real meaning. I reckon I'll make it there for two or three years. I've got a great companion here. And a lot of time to think. Oh god, Richard, I hope they don't murder you. I need to find shelter and something to eat. Yeah, 
Now, we got to find you a home, seeing as how yours got all blown up. You got plans, kid? Yeah, Ben and I were planning on going to Vegas or L.A. I'll probably just wander until I find a place. Ooh. <laughs> Not likely, kid. No one's gone to Vegas and survived in over a hundred years. NCR's tried, but raiders have got them trapped along the 15. In L.A., well, it's a long walk. NCR's got control of the highway along the 10, and there's mobsters and mutants the whole way. Not to mention the sandstorms coming in off the Dune Sea. You'd likely end up dead, this being your first trip out of the vault. I guess I'll just wander around then. <laughs> How about this, kid? I'm going to punch a couple of locations into your pit boy. These should get you to a place where you can find help. Alright. I don't know this area very well. Can you give me the lay of the land? Well, this is the first big fork in the road you'll come across. All the roads west of here are a mess. North, you got Black Bear. If you want to live a long and healthy life, <laughs> don't go that way. Athens Tech Mine is up there, home of the Raiders. They have towers all in line of sight of each other and send troops to respond to threats. Odds are you'll stumble into a town along the road and get ambushed. They'll be out looking for you. The road that heads east will take you along the ridge and out into the desert. I suggest you stay on it. It's a hell of a trip, but Union City is out along 138, past the I-15 Beltway. Raiders got it choked off, so you may want to go around it. If anyone is out there to help you, it's going to be the Union. That's NCR territory now. Past that, you just keep moving to L.A. As for me, well, I'm just going to continue my journey. Uh, I have some more hey, give me whatever gear you have now. All right, man. It was nice meeting you. Have a safe trip. You too, kid. I hope you find some of your legacy out there. You've got a lot to live up to, if you manage. Richard Camper, you're a beautiful man. You've got your dog. You've got your coffee mug, oh, Richard Camper, you're a beautiful man. Ooh, I love you, Richard. Oh, <gasps> assemble robot. Wait, can I build a robot? God, I need to figure out. Here's some noodles. Richard Camper, I know you like these noodles. Cheetah, come girl. You got a long ways to walk. Wait, what about your chair? Let them through. Alright, I guess he's not taking the noodles. There he goes. Oh. Richard Camper, you're a beautiful man. Have a wonderful life. You've got a lovely cam. All right, let's see. He beep bopped in my borp. All right, let's not go there. And there's the Junction Street. All right, um, is that a little town? All right. This area has been marked as Raider territory. The skull and hubcap on that sign is a warning. If we go this way, we're sure to encounter them. Huh. Alright, well. Let's not go this way. Man, Richard was pretty chill about the fact that I murdered his friends. Well, he's an old man. He said he was sick of war. I can understand that. So happy I didn't have to kill him. Please step ah. into the open ah. and identify yourself. Please clear the area until Thanks for warning us, Richard. Let's see what that build robot thing. Oh. A brain robot parts, one robot cap. What is a robot cap? Oh, is this the, uh... Okay, I remember we were here last time. But that's when the mutants had taken over this city. Maybe we can go down there. Before it's been, uh... Hey, we got some ghouls. Overrun. 
do some farming, get some sweet XP. Onion City. Welcome to Onion City. Welcome to Onion City. Oh yeah, armor piercing. Thank you. Come on over, little baby mole rat. I'm gonna shoot you in the- Whoa! You jumped sideways. Huh. Oh, I got my scratchy finger. Hey, mister. Hi. I don't want to buy what you're selling. Oh. You sure? You could probably do with some work at the gym. You look like some kind of lily-ass nerd from a vault. Why does everyone come? Right. <laughs> oh, maybe we can go to the town. All right, so it's just a bunch of, uh... Wait, what the demon is Ni siquiera hablas el idioma, ¿cierto? Lárgate. What? Old warehouses. Hey, does anyone here have a name? Bark. Hey, no names. I don't want to buy what you're. Put your weapons down, oh. stranger. I'm not ordered to kill you. My boss wants you alive. I'll murder everyone. Surrender and come quietly. It's that, or we're gonna have to start getting rough. Yo, Bobby Duger, won't you chill out? Fuck you and your creepy face. <laughs> Slow down. Just tell me what I did wrong. What you did wrong? It's what you did right. You took care of Jackson and his men for us. That's a big step in the right direction. I don't expect you to understand our ways, but you showed us you're resourceful. A survivor. That's respectable to us. Now, are you going to come along quietly, or do I have to get violent? Who is your boss? Ugh. Oh, we're going to get murdered. Damn it. I really don't want to get kidnapped again. <sighs> Take me to our leader. That's the plan. Thanks for your cooperation. I think you're gonna do just fine here. Boys, stun grenade. Son of a... Selling. What's going on? <sighs> Arr, damn it, every time. I say... <sighs> you, you really think this is the Vault Dweller? Oh, hi. I know what I saw. This is the fucking one. Huh? They're awake. Finally. Don't don't touch. Hey, me. what? Look at what we have here. Our little vault dweller is awake. Yeah, he just said that. Good morning, my friends. Good You've been busy, haven't you? Killing thirty of my men. Thirty. That's very fucking brave of you. You must be some kind of badass, huh? You know who those men had for a boss? Probably some psychotic raider warlord. You're right. They had me. And I have to say, as a warlord, I'm very pissed off. Uh. But not by you. No, you don't make me mad. Or at least you haven't yet. I'm gonna give you a chance to piss me off in a second. But first, I want to say thank you. You took care of the trash for me. Those fucking Enclave bastards were ruining my operation. You killed a bunch of my expendable rejects, and you prove then my security team works. You know what I think? You are going to have a very bright future in our little company. Congratulations! You passed your first interview. I'm so fucking proud of you, sweetheart. Please don't throw me. I can't wait head. to start you killing people that aren't on my side. But you know what? You haven't passed the test for upper management. Damn it! You haven't accepted the job from the big man. So, here's what we're going to do. I have questions, you have answers. You give me what I want, and then I send you 
to take the test. How does that sound to you? Sounds great, man. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> Who do you think, huh? You lived in that hole with the Wasteland Scouts for what? 20 years? And you never even mentioned me. That fucking hurts, kid. I am Els Dragon. I'm old Doc Rossman's arch nemesis. I'm like his General Zod from that old comic book, remember? No. Like you. Rossman took a lot from me. He took my family, he took my boss, my money, my home. Do you know what that does to a man? Revenge. It makes him grow up mean. So you and me, I'm going to consider us enemies until you turn to the dark side and serve me. <laughs> um, hmm. Did we do luck last time? Knowing my luck, something's about to go terribly wrong. Haha, <laughs> maybe so, my lucky friend. I'm going to give you your very own raider name. Your new name is Jack. Ooh. Don't you like it? It's fitting, no? Jack the Killer. Maybe that's what they'll call you if you don't die in the abyss. Yeah, seems inspired. Oh, you better believe it's inspired. It came from the divine Els Dragon, your god. <laughs> Listen to me. I've been driven to fucking blasphemy, Jesus. I'm so sorry. You must be so confused. Very. Go on and ask me, what is the test I have set up for you? What's the test you have set up for me? See, we're going to get along just fine. This test I have for you is right below your feet. That big fucking hole, that's the abyss. Decades ago, we got ourselves our very own super mutant slaves and put them to work. But then, our big one got something in his head. Some new idea formed in that itty bitty brain of his. And now, he's out of control. You, my friend, are going down to level 27 alone. And you're going to put him back in his place. Um, that's, uh, cool. What weapons? Your fists. Oh, wait, what about all my stuff? <laughs> you think you get to keep all the shit you walked in here with, huh? Well, that's funny, Murderface. You're good for a laugh. You, amigo, are my slave. You went and got yourself captured. Now, you're fucked. Actually, no. You're working your way back up to fucked. Right now, you're dead. You'll get your shit back when you prove your worth to me on your own. Because you see, I don't need your toys. I need men. And you, little boy, you are not even worth one man in my eyes. Not yet. When you get back up here again, maybe you'll earn your shit back. At the risk of sounding impertinent, you would get more for your investment if I had my gear. Oh, <laughs> you like to use big words. Maybe Brainiac was a better name for you. Okay then, Murderface, you have my blessings. Here is the brick ton of shit you walked in here with. <laughs> I hope you're worth the price of how much I was going to sell that for. But now it's time for you to leave. I'll see you when, or should I say, if you get back. No, it's when. Right, so how do I get down there? Either you jump or you get shot when you try to run away. Don't make me shoot you, murder face. I'll be very disappointed. They call me murder face. Here I go. Murder face. Tuesdays on NBC. <coughs> oh, God, my back. Ugh. I thought those guys maybe had a different boss or something. Clearly, I was very wrong. Ugh. All right. Ah, oh, great, I get to do this again. Those bastards kept my chainsaw. And they took my, ah, oh, damn it. They kept a bunch of stuff. All right, where's this old man? Where's it, there you go. You you come from above in the great overworld. Yes. You, you come from above in the great overworld. Yes, all right. Side eye. I was thrown down here like the rest of you. Ah, I see. The masters deemed you unworthy of the daylight and banished you to the depths to work. I pity you. You know much of the sun. 
We only know darkness from birth till death. We hear the stories they tell of its marvels. The new ones, like you, they don't adjust to the darkness, to the dust. They wither and die. We survive. You'd be surprised how little sunlight I know. We aren't so different. You speak strange to us, new pale one. You wish to make us friends, hmm? Fine, we'll be friends with the new one. Maybe we won't eat you tonight like the last surface dweller they sent us. Um, there's a mutant down here? Is that him? Him? No. That is Festus. He is a green demon slaved among us long ago. He is a pale one now. He took a wife from the voiceless many years ago and became mute like the rest of them. I speak for him now. Um, when he said the big one, what do you mean? Oh, so that's why they sent you. Pity. You would have made a fine rock breaker. Oh, thank you. Finally. You will find the great beast in the far caverns. He rages in his arena where he broke free of the old machine. A blue demon protects him these days. It hides from the light. You must face it before you reach him. Call together the voiceless. I want to rally them to face the great beast. You... You surprise me with your words, new pale one. We will do as you ask. Meet us at the old machine's repair bay. I will gather the voiceless and you can spur them on to fight with your great words. Damn right. We're doing it again, everybody. Except this time I don't think I'm going to rebel. I think we're. J I just want to get to the surface and then get the hell out of here. Hopefully he, uh... Whoa! Surfing Granny! <laughs> Alright. Engaging hostile target. Shut up, voice. Yeah! Festus, it is good to see you again. You magnificent bastard. Alright. While you're all kicking ass, I'm gonna go over here. Oh god, there's too many of them. <laughs> oh, Festus, help me! Okay. And since my science is higher this time, hopefully we can do the uh, remote control boogie explode. Dynamite! Who needs to aim? There it is. Ooh, little roaches. Ooh, little baby roaches. There we go. Pack of schmigarets. Do I have... I have a basketball. Guess who doesn't need a basketball? Come and get it, roaches. It's time to play ball. Just kidding, it's not. Oh, there's my chainsaw. Somebody got a whiff of what's going on. Ah! Calm down, Donald. Are like hogs. Ring those bells, bitch. <laughs> run, little baby, run! Oh, wait, I killed you already. Yeah, yeah, we get it. 